Hi, and thanks for watching. Uh, this week I'm going to make a bath caddy, which I saw uh, in a home store, and I thought it would be nice to have, and it was way too expensive to buy for what it is. So uh, I decided to make one myself. I made mine out of cedar, which is a very fragrant wood, uh, so it smells nice, and it also is fairly water resistant. Uh, so it's a good material for something that's going to be in the bath. So you can see I start by just sawing it to length, uh, depending on the size of my bathtub. And really, honestly, that's all you need to do. You could be done with this project at this point. It's just a board that goes across the bathtub to hold different things. Um, so one of the nice things is you can make this project as easy or as complicated as you want it. And you can use it to work on some of your woodworking or hand tool skills. Uh, so what I'm doing now is just planing and sanding this part smooth. Um, just so that it, it feels a little nicer to the touch. So we'll sand this down and then again you could stop there or I wanted to work on my chisel work a little bit so I made a curved edge uh, which just adds a little interest to the piece and gives me a chance to, to improve my skills on a piece that I'm just making for myself. It's not commissioned or uh, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I took this little bendy clear rod that I'll actually use later uh, and I used that to help me make the curve and then uh, kind of gouged it in with my marking pen. Uh, and then later, I don't show this, but I took that rod and cut it into little pieces um, so that they're little clear rods that fit in the hole so that they could hold a book pages, uh, a book open if you wanted to put a book on top of that. And then in this, this is me just taking the chisel, and I started with the bevel down as I'm taking these deep cuts with the mallet uh, and hammer that out. And you can see I hit a knot there. That was frustrating. That's part of the reason I did the bevel on this side was to try to get that knot out of the piece. Um, so, you know, two birds with one stone kind of situation. But I started with bevel down, and then after I get off the majority of the wood, uh, of the scallop that I want, or the curve that I want. Then I come back in, bevel up with a little more control, and just kind of round it over those edges and smoothed out the edge. Um, and you can see I work from one end towards the middle, uh, and then I flip the piece around. I don't show you this, you don't need to see that much chisel work, but flip the piece around and work back towards the middle, just staying in line with that gouge that I made before. So, I, so I'm just following that curve down slowly towards the middle. Um, and then once that's done, I put the board on its side and I marked out uh, a little trough to hold my cell phone. Um, and so you can see I mark out one side of where I want to cut. So I measured the width of my phone and then just uh, used my T-square to mark out that. And then I adjusted it a little bit forward and uh, did the same thing. So that fits my phone exactly. You can easily tailor it to fit your own phone. Um, or if you have a smaller phone, you could just make a little insert that, that could fit in this uh, trough and that would hold a smaller phone. So again, you don't need to watch me do all this chisel work, but essentially I'm gonna start small uh, light passes to define the space that I want out and then I'll get more aggressive and, and add more depth to that trough. But ultimately all it does is, is hold my phone. Uh, you could make it big enough if, for a tablet if you want that, or like an iPad or whatever. And then I drilled some tiny holes in it, which are basically drainage holes, because again, this is going to be in the bath, and I don't want my phone sitting in a puddle of water. So I wanted to make sure water could get out of that space. And this is the finished product. I just drilled another hole on the left side and the right side uh, with a foster bit to help hold the wine glass and a candle. And then you're all set. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, <laughs> enjoy.